we're going to be talking about flipping and stemming. You're not Three. trying to fool the offensive coordinator. The way you're trying to in fool terms of offensive, offensive players right before they have because a chance they know where to where you where you are. Are. Head decided is going have to make them things ready a little bit more out there. Welcome to X's and O's of Joe's. I'm Gene Clemens. Today we're going to be talking about flipping and stemming from the 33 defense to the 42. So that means we're going to flip and give you a 33, and right before the snap, we're going to drop to a 42, or we're going to go from a 42 into a 33. Now, why is this important? Well, it gives the offensive player something to think about. And here's what you always have to remember. You're not trying to fool the offensive coordinator. You're trying to fool the offensive players. And something just as quick as flipping from a three-man front to a four-man front can take everything away mentally in terms of an offensive player's confidence because they know where you are, they're ready for where you are, and then when you all of a sudden move right before they have a chance to adjust in their head, it's going to make things a little bit more problematic. Plus, it allows you just to have a little bit more fun, get your defense excited, have them ready to go out there and keep that offense on their toes. Okay, so... This is our basic 33 defense, say if we're playing against a spread two by two. Now, here's the thing. When you think about who you want to flip, you're going to flip that, that one of those linebackers to your fourth defensive lineman. So it should probably be a linebacker who never ha you never have to really worry about having to call off your flip or your stem because they have to do another job, which is why I recommend the middle linebacker be the guy that you use as your flip and stem guy. Now, a lot of people like to use the stud. My opinion, when you use the stud, if they come into a three-by-one set, do you still want your stud flipping down to the end, and now you have to work your mic all the way out to this, to this area over here, or would you just rather that stud be the stud all the time and now have this might be able to flip. So I'll tell you how we do it. In, in, in our 30 defense, our nose and the ends, and if you watch our basics, um, basic four-man pressures of the 33, you'll see I like to two-gap with my defensive lineman in a 33 defense. So when I go to a 40 defense, I'm really looking – to do the same thing. I'm looking to control two gaps with players. So when I when I flip down to a 40, I'm not looking to get into a, a over and under look. I'm getting into two twos and two fours. So when he flips and he comes down, he's going to flip away from the strength. He's going to flip to the weak side because we want our nose to flip to the strength. Now, in the case of a two by two set, the strength is always going to be the field. So whatever the field is, that's going to be the strength. So when they flip, the nose is going to work to his, to his new two. The mic is going to come down. And they're both going to be in head up twos. Two twos and two fours. And so now, new positions, here's my mic, here's my nose, two twos, two fours. Now what this allows me to do is allows me to control each gap. Now my mic linebacker is also a good person to flip with because he's one of the guys who is really ready for action. He's a, he's a box defender. He's not really leaving the box, so he's probably my more burly of my three linebackers, the probably the most the least athletic of my three linebackers, because I'm asking him to do the least from sideline to sideline. I'm really asking him to focus in on the box. So now I've got my two twos and my two fours, and everybody controls two gaps. Now, also, this means that the only person capable of climbing 
on my linebackers is the center. But because of where my linebackers are playing, it's kind of difficult for that center to get all the way to my linebackers. So when my mic flips, my linebackers, they just take a step inside. They don't actually go and line up like in 30s. They would line up in essentially a 40 eye. So kind of inside eye of the tackle. My demon and whip, they don't have to change because I'm going from a 33 to a 42. But that five, so if you're thinking three, three, five, or four, two, five, the five never changes, which means that I can still run a lot of my same one-man blitz pressures that would now essentially be a five-man pressure because my mic is down. So if I run a whip blitz from this, if I ran a whip blitz from this, my back would just essentially go, we would go into our three under three deep. So here, here, and here, he would drop to his um, to his star. I'm sorry, yes, yeah, to his star. This dude would drop to his middle hole, and then this butt would go his solar. So I'd have three over the top, three underneath. Whip would come off the edge, in would go, Mike would go. Still two gapping on the backside. So that's a quick way that we flip from the 335 to the 425. And it, like I said, it opens up lots of possibilities because when we flip, we don't flip and go into a gap. We flip and we head up. Two twos and two fours. So now those defense, those offensive linemen, excuse me, they have to be ready to adjust to I'm not covered. Now all of a sudden I'm covered. So every play, they don't know until right before the ball is snapped whether they're going to be covered or uncovered. They're going to start off uncovered, and if it remains that way, okay, but then if they get covered, are they ready to make that adjustment? The offensive coordinator is, but is his guards ready to make that? And if they're not, we're going to have success. Doesn't change anything for our defensive backs. If we go with any type of five-man pressure, we go into our cover six, which is our three over, three under concept. If we um, stay with just the four-man line, then we run our, our, our basic um, coverage, our basic cover three, where we have our hooks to curls and our curls to flat, or excuse me, curl to flat, hook to curl, hook to curl, curl to flat. So our normal business. So it's not changing the entire concept of our defense to be able to flip and stem from a 42 to a 33. If we come out in a 40 front and we flip back, again, it's easy for them to know. And the great thing is, is that we could flip back to a 33 and then still run a blitz where the mic is coming. So we line up in this 42 and then we stem back to the 33 and then run a mic blitz. We're just trying to keep the offense on their toes, trying to keep them off balance. A beautiful way to set them up for success on defense and to keep the offense off balance. Now, if we start off in our 40, our 42, and we want to stem, we want to stem to our 30 front. So if I said stem to three, cover or let's go stem to three whip cover three now we're here we come out we see this three by one set so we already know we're we're going to stem back to the 30 and we know whips coming no number two he's coming so they're waiting everyone flips at the last second when he when they flip He's back to his nose. He's back to his mic. Whip is ready. All ready to come off edge. Anyway, this end's going to hit this B gap. 
The nose is still too gapping. The end is still too gapping. The end is still too gapping. This demon is playing between two, but he's looking to collision. Here's your cover three. On the back side, he's going curl to flat. He's going collision two. Get to that flat. He's going to hook the curl. Mike has to hook the curl back side. The buck has curled a flat with that one receiver. He's really just going to look to get up underneath number one on the backside. So we have our field zone still taken care of, and we have a really nice off-edge blitz from the backside. Now, if they're trying to run zone, that works out perfectly. They run zone. We're here. We're here. These guys are there. He's negative A anyway. He's going to be backside B. He's coming off edge to be able to watch for the quarterback trying to pull it and come the other way. So an easy way to teach your kids to flip, flip, or flip and stem. So I flip, I flip to 40, I stem to 30. My coverage is whatever it is that I'm going to call. Um, in this case, out of the 30 stack, out of the 42, most likely it's going to either be cover three, it's going to be cover one, it's going to be cover six, cover six. Um, whichever it be, I'm not really too much into trying to fool people on the other side. Most of the times they know what you run anyway. It's just a matter of execution. So the more, the simple, the more simple you can keep it for your kids, the better they're going to be able to confuse the opposition. And that's kind of the entire point of the 3-3 three, three stack and the 4-2-5 is you want to confuse them because they never know where pressure's coming from. Now when you add into the fact that they don't know if they're going to get an even front or an odd front every single snap, it makes it that much more dangerous. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope some of this stuff was helpful to you. If you have anything that you would love to see out of the 30 or the 425, leave a comment below. But we really, really need you to like these defensive videos. The first defensive video I did about the basic, you know, um, four-man pressures out of the 33, not a lot of views, not a lot of likes. I don't know if maybe the defensive coaches don't um, like, you know, experiencing videos as much as the offensive coaches do. But – Valuable information in here. So please like, please subscribe if you want to see more of this. Um, until next time, I'm Gene Clemens, X and O's the Joes.